Making national news tonight, the White House is on defense in the House impeachment inquiry, trying to explain what acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney meant to say at a news conference when he appeared to contradict President Trump and confirm a quid pro quo with Ukraine. Alice Barr has the latest. The White House in cleanup mode today after acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney appeared to undercut President Trump's impeachment defense. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. In a shocking admission, Mulvaney confirming the administration did delay military aid to Ukraine in part because the president wanted help with a Justice Department investigation into the 2016 election and an unfounded allegation that a Democratic Party computer server was in Ukraine. The chief of staff later walking those comments back. I think he clarified it. Claiming his words were misconstrued, even though they were on camera. The look back to what happened in 2016 certainly was, was part of the thing that he was worried about in corruption with that nation. And that is absolutely appropriate. But to be clear, what you just described is a quid pro quo. It is funding will not flow unless the investigation into the, into the Democratic server uh, happened as well. We do that all the time with foreign policy. Mulvaney hours later reversing with the statement, there was absolutely no quid pro quo between Ukrainian military aid and any investigation into the 2016 election. Democrats aren't buying it. Mick Mulvaney co-signed the confession to extortion that President Trump has already made. Republican Congressman Francis Rooney saying today Mulvaney's words can't be undone. Quote, it's not an etch-a-sketch, whether dissected or dismissed. The chief of staff's words bringing a new focus to the impeachment probe.